You can't open that without a key. I know. Are you really gonna return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Nope. You saw what happened in Nordopolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. <clears throat> I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she? I feel like my world is crashing down around me. I can't believe Ruin's Gate was secretly selling weapons, and that they were smuggling them illegally out of Ruins. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. Well, you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right, and lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Hmm. Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, old man. Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Hmm. Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge, is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the Don will yell at you for sure. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult, too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. Huh? You're still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. Eifried is... I don't know about you. But for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. 
And if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. Mm. And as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later! <sighs> Yuri. Hey, why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita'd joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me? I... You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri... Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> Carol, this is for you. Huh? What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. Huh? What do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Take your leave? What are you going to do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Ooh, there's no reasoning with any of you! Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes, I've thought a lot about this. 
You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own. Something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... This is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air crene isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I wonder what Pharaoh will do. This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Can we stay the night here? Hello! Welcome to the Desert Oasis Mantake. What's with this night? Well, um... <sighs> will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! But man, I just can't relax with a knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone. Let's get some sleep. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks, but we've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. 
one lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here, too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into Arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale's there, but... <laughs> Thank you very much for your business. Wait, but... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. up our water. I think we're ready to go. Right. Stop it! Let go! Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way! We're going to look for mommy and daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey... Wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies! Do you think that maybe... I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro, are we gonna go look for mommy and daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. Ugh. Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here. Take this, cause you're so nice. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh.